Hello guys and dolls, welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today we are taking a look at the Minton Beagle Cam. Before we get started, a word from our sponsors and roll those credits. Direct Computers has over 14 years of experience in the technology sector. They specialise in IT services, support and custom built PCs. With over a thousand positive reviews, Direct Computers cares first and foremost about customer care. They offer one-to-one -one help with building a PC designed around you, either over live chat, service over the phone, and they'll ensure you get the PC that you want. Alternatively, browse through their pre-built systems and find a PC that suits you. Use the code HONEYBADGER at the checkout to get your first order with free shipping. Okay, so the Minton Beagle Cam is a all-in-one solution for doing your time lapses. It is a 1080p plug and play time lapse um, camera. It's pretty good. So it comes with a companion app and it can you can also access it on uh, on the browser. You slice your files normally, you upload them to either the camera's SD card. Or you, uh, or you can upload them via the app, or you can upload them via the web interface, and then it will do time lapses. With their newest, uh, with their newest firmware, you have two options. You have traditional time lapse, where the tool head comes over to a point, it docks, takes a picture, and then carries on with the print. And you have a normal time lapse, which is what they call it, uh, where it just literally takes a picture every layer but the tool head will be in different places. Kind of depends on your style. It also depends on what you want from a print. So obviously when it's docking and taking a picture, um, it, it's going to take longer. And as well, you're gonna be prone to stringing. So um, I'll put up some of the videos in a second to so you can see the quality of them. Um, the quality is pretty good. It does have a night mode as well, which you can switch over to by itself. Um, I just left my I just left my office lights on and the lights stayed pretty consistent the whole time. Did a pretty decent job. Um, there are some um, there are some arms that you can print that basically these this just slots into and then you're able to hold the camera here. I actually end up basically piling this on top of some filament boxes and pointing it down at the uh, at the machine. Let's talk compatibility. So it's pretty much plug and play with most machines. So they've got all the Anycubics, Artilleries, Creality's, Elegoos, only FDMs I'll point out, because then the Neptune and the Neptune 2 and all that kind of stuff. The Focus, FL Sun, Snapmaker, Solvol, Prusa, all of that stuff. Um, the one thing I will say is that there is a specific model that you buy to work with the Prusa. So um, I don't think the normal camera works with the Prusa Mark III. I think that you have to buy the Prusa version to work with that. Um, it does require USB-C power, uh, and it also requires you to use your um, your sort of US your printer's COM port, and then it basically prints the same as if it was uh, printing from a PC. Uh, it doesn't require an internet connection all the time, but you can access this camera from outside of the house and you can control your printer as well. So let's take a very quick look at some of the videos. Okay, so as you can see, um, to be clear, you know, we've done some flexible prints. This one's, um, this one's one of the sort of articulated dogs. It doesn't affect the print quality on regular prints, 
I found that it did affect the print quality a bit on my vase mode print. So if you're printing a lot of spiralized outer contour um, things, then uh, then just as an FYI, these these do tend to um, it does tend to cause a little bit of stringing because obviously it's supposed to be going in one continuous mode. Now if you used the normal mode where it doesn't dock the tool head, then um, then you wouldn't get that issue. So uh, so that's worth bearing in mind. Um, so the companion app. So the companion app's pretty good. It's pretty easy to use. Um, it's again you can upload you can upload files and print files directly from the app if you want to or you can go to the IP address and go into your web browser and you can upload them directly from there there isn't yet a cura plugin like there is for octoprint or whatever but let's take a quick look at the app okay so let's go into the app so the app you can see here, I click on my Hornet and you can see it. And this is obviously real time. So you can issue your commands from here. So you can tell the machine to home and it will go and do a homing exercise. Obviously this is a Hornet. So my tool head homes in a very strange place, but you can go in here and you can see your temperatures, turn those temperatures up. This is where, the, if it indeed it was printing a file, it would be able to print them. This is where your stored files are. So you can upload from here, or as I said before, you can go onto, uh, you can go onto the web browser, type in the IP address, and you'll be able to upload through the web browser as well. So if you slice on your machine, you can upload directly from there. This is where your time-lapse videos are saved. So you can see here, they're all saved in an MP4 format with a H.264 codec. Um, these are all the ones that we will show you in a minute. So these are varying things that we've tried to print. And then you have the settings piece, which just tells you all the different things about your machine. So I'm connected to an artillery, the Hornet. This is where you change your baud rate and you change the printer size and things like that for anything that you might need to do that for. Here, if you had multiple cameras, you would be able to see all of those instances set up. And again, as I say, you just click in there. And if you even want to, you can click this and it will take a picture of whatever it is you are currently doing. So as you can see, the app is nice and easy to use, super clear, pretty obvious where things are. It's fairly intuitive. Um, who is this for? So the price on this is $69.99 at the moment. Um, it's normally $79.99. The person this makes sense for is if you don't have the time to set up Clipper and a Pi Cam, or you don't already have a Raspberry Pi and a webcam to set up, say, Octoprint or something like that. Um, Pi's at the moment, in the UK certainly, um, a Pi 3B will set you back like 80 pounds, um, and, uh, and a webcam, just a cheap webcam, like a 720p one that's just sort of USBs in, will normally cost you about I mean, it'll normally cost you about 20 quid to pick up a sort of fairly cheap webcam. Um, it does pretty much everything that you need it to. So you can, you can remote monitor from outside the house and you can remote terminate. So you can, you can stop it from, um, you, can, you can stop your printer from, from wherever you are. It doesn't run anything like Spaghetti Detective or anything like that. So it does require you to be looking at the machine for you to be able to sort of take it out and, um, and, and or stop the print or whatever. Look, it, it does what it says on the tin. It's a relatively useful, pretty clear quality, fairly feature rich, time-lapse camera. And if you don't already have a Pi and you don't already have a webcam, this is a pretty decent option. You don't really have to go through any material setup other than connecting this to your Wi-Fi. Um, and then after that, it's pretty easy to use. Um, Octoprint, to be clear, isn't particularly challenging to set up. To be fair, neither is Clipper. But, um, but both of those require you to have 
either Flash firmware or Flash Pi. They require you to set them up and then you need to set up the webcams and everything else. And to be honest with you, this is just literally plug and play. You get it out of the box and off you go. Um, there's not really much else to say about it. If you need a time-lapse camera, and if you do not have a Raspberry Pi already, this is a pretty cost-effective way of going about it. I would definitely print the um, I would definitely print the articulated arm that you can print because it will go into the frame of this printer and then it will hold it there. Mine, again, as I say, just because of the space that I had and the time that I had, I just ended up standing this on some on some. Um, on some filament boxes and it worked. But uh, but look, if you wanna get your own, I'll drop a link in the video description. To be clear, this is not an affiliate link. It is just a link to go and buy the uh, the camera from where you want. Um, we don't get any kickbacks from this. We got the camera sent to us for free, but we don't get anything from you going off and buying it. So if you want a time-lapse camera, you don't already have a Pi, this could really be a fairly viable option for you. You can also add multiple cameras to the single app. So that's quite good. So you can go in and you can see all of the printers you've got set up with cameras. Um, again, it's pretty plug and play. It got, works with the big tree main boards with Voxel Lab, 10 Log, Two Trees, TiVo, um, <laughs> Snapmaker, Mingda, the, 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 the list is on the website. It's a pretty exhaustive list. Pretty much if you've got a, and it works with like the Sidewinder X2 and things like that. So if you've got a COM port on your machine, pretty sure this is gonna work for you. Um, so yeah, they're updating the app all the time and they're updating the firmware all the time. So this is a this is something they are continuing to invest in. I, I think it's worthwhile if time lapses are what you need. If all you need is remote monitoring, there probably are some cheaper IP cams out there that you could just go out and buy. Um, but because this sort of synchronizes with the computer and you can use it to control the machine, I like the fact that it's sort of all in one package. But there you go. So don't forget to check out our channel sponsors, Direct Computers. It's got a link in the video description. Thanks very much for joining us, guys and dolls. Happy printing.